today is another construction day for the mirror. I focused on fitting the electronics and assembling all of the acrylic pieces with uh, these brass inserts today. These inserts are melted into the acrylic using a soldering iron, and what they do is they allow me to have uh, number zero size screw holes all throughout the mirror where I want them, and I use these to be able to screw in the electronics onto the enclosure. It's a cheap solution, and I think there's a lot of use for this even beyond this project. Then I moved on to fitting the battery pack and the screen, which were the um, inserts I had just made. Once I finished that, I actually removed those parts and moved on to measuring the rest of the components and feeling out where the Raspberry Pi would go and feeling out where the power would go and the USB port and the speakers. Once I had done that, I took out my Sharpie and was marking um, all the spots that I was going to drill holes onto this enclosure. The way that this is situated is I have the screen on one side of the acrylic have a hole drilled for the uh, video cable to go through it, and then on the other side of the, of the acrylic is where all the other electronics go that run it. Here I'm taking the drill press for a spin, uh, drilling out all the different parts of the acrylic where I'm going to put more brass inserts. Then I move on to inserting around 20 more brass inserts, and these are going to be used to uh, nail, to screw in all those different parts that I had measured out. I'm a really big fan of these brass inserts. I was able to get around 100 of them for $10 from McMaster Car, and I was surprised at how common they really were. They could be used for all these different kinds of applications where you're laser cutting acrylic and you need to uh, put electronics or various pieces together, but you don't really know where they're all going to go. You don't have to CAD this out, you can do it all by hand, and uh, it's very quick, very easy.